All right, another fun accessory uh, detail with a scarf. This time I've done a long, thin scarf, is to use it instead of a belt. And literally, thanks Erica, you just, th whoops, thread <laughs> it around. And I love doing this because you can then take a fairly neutral outfit or good basics that are hiding in your closet and just jazz them up a little bit. You can also do this by just finding a wonderful piece of fabric that you love and cutting it into a thin length. You're going to want to make sure that the proportions are a width that are comfortable on you. I mean, Erica's going to look great with it quite wide if she wanted to because she's fairly narrow in the hips. If you're a little curvier like me, you might want to do it a little thinner. You may want to do it a little higher or a little lower. But it's, a, it's just a fun, it's a slightly Pirates of the Caribbean. Whoops, let's just bring this around a little bit more. There we are. Get your ties to an angle that you like so that you have as much or as little as you want hanging down. There you go. And it, it just gives you a nice fun splash of color. Um, I also love them done this way. So that it's almost like a little mini sarong. And again, as Erica, as you were saying, mm -hmm. so much of that kind of thing, all, you know, things tied at the mm -hmm. side, uh, hair, hair worn on the ponytail at yeah. the side. or asymmetrical. There's a lot of yeah. asymmetrical stuff going on. And you can also then just a little bit lower. Do it something like that too. This is also fun if you've got um, like a little sheath dress on mm -hmm. uh, or a simple t shirt dress, is just to funk it up a little bit. And again, if you're, if you're narrow through the hip and you want to show off your waist, it gives you a lovely line through here and it's fun. It's not so much of a statement that you think, oi, what am I doing? Um, but it's just a just a mm. nice, light, freshen it up for, yeah. for springtime. 